Every generation will not be confused. There is a generation that will get this thing. Say the compressed of a from that day. The creative dimension of the prophetic. There must be a performance because. One of the greatest blessings that can be given to the believer, aside from the Holy Spirit, is the gift of a teaching priest second only to the ministry of the holy spirit and even the word of god one of the greatest blessings that a believer can have is access to the gift and the ministry of a teaching priest a teaching priest is not one who can teach a teaching priest is not one who is a preacher a teaching priest is one who is determined by covenant to leave no stone unturned until god's people rise to a position of stature and knowledge and wisdom through the sound exegesis the sound communication of doctrine that is a teaching priest a preacher is not necessarily a teaching priest in fact a teacher of the word may not necessarily be a teaching priest it is the heart condition the determination to see god's people rise to ascend superior levels in the spirit by granting an accurate understanding of the word of god jeremiah three fifteen, a popular scripture here it says and i will give you pastors or shepherds according to my heart they shall feed you with knowledge and with understanding. That is the assignment of a true shepherd who is according to God's heart to feed you with knowledge and understanding. In 2 Chronicles chapter 15 and verse 3, very popular scripture, the Bible says, Now for a long time or a long season, Israel had been without the true God and without a teaching priest and without law. I have observed time and again that any group of people that goes through this kind of negative uh, condition are people who are about to die and fade out of relevance without the knowledge of the true God the presence of a teaching priest and no laws to govern their lives when Satan wants to destroy a people the battle that he fights over their life is around these three areas he fights their knowledge of the true God. He fights the presence or the efficiency of a teaching priest. And then he, 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 he takes away the appetite for decorum and order in their lives so that they become a lawless people. The Bible records that Jesus wept two times according to scripture. Number one was in John chapter 11 verse 35 says Jesus wept and the reason why he wept was because his beloved Lazarus had died three days now and he was so driven and taken over by that emotion that sense of love and they saw him and say oh how he loved him they testified that Jesus loved Lazarus and then what will happen afterwards was a miracle of resurrection the second time that Jesus would cry was in Luke chapter 19, 41 and 42. He wept over Jerusalem and the Bible says, verse 42, this was his reason for weeping, saying, If thou hast known even thou at least in this thy day the things which pertaineth or belongeth unto your peace, he says but now they are hid from your eyes they are hid from your eyes because you do not know in fact if you add one more verse let's try 43 it says for the days shall come upon thee that thy enemies shall cast a trench about thee and compass thee and keep you on every side 44 he says they shall lay thee on the ground and thy children within thee 
they shall not leave thee in one stone upon another because thou knewest not the time of thy visitation so jesus wept over a people who were sincere zealous but very ignorant every time god demonstrates compassion over people he does not just move to heal he does not just move to deliver a man can be healed can be delivered and yet not be free genuine freedom comes through the sound communication of the word of god hallelujah you can be healed and then return back everybody who was healed the bible does not necessarily tell us that they retain their healing and we know even in modern history that people can be healed and return back again if they do not understand the principles that make for their health their wholeness knowledge is what preserves any miracle you receive are we together so this is very very important when god wants to bless you he grants you access to the spirit of god the spirit of truth when god wants to bless you he grants you access to the word of god then in addition to these two he grants you access to a teaching priest one who is able to bless you but you have a role to play the presence of god the presence of the holy spirit the presence of the word the presence of a teaching priest although all of these are very necessary for your growth and transformation it does not automatically mean that just because the holy spirit is there just because the word of god is there and just because a teaching priest is there that you will be transformed there are people who have had access to all this and yet they were not changed you always have a role to play and very quickly let me just show you as i lay the foundation for our discussion tonight wherever we stop we stop and pray second peter chapter one please the full text is from verse two down to ten but let's just go to verse eight for the sake of time second peter chapter one from verse eight he said for if these things be in you before then he kept telling them add to your faith patience to fa patience virtue he says if these things be in you and abound they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Reading to 10 verse 9. It says, but he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off and hath forgotten that he was purged of his old sins. I love verse 10. Wherefore the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and your election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. It is your responsibility to take advantage of all these spiritual resources. The Holy Spirit, the Word of God, the presence of a teaching priest to receive with meekness like Colossians 3 and verse 16 would encourage us. And then when you receive with meekness, oh, please find that scripture for me. It says, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. And then it says to receive with meekness the engrafted word that is able to save your soul. So when you receive with meekness, now you engage it through faith. Are we together now? Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.